by going around European airspace rather, rather than going through. Got you. Do you know, t uh, as you've been talking, Chris, as I say, the details are coming through thick and fast now. We've got two lines through. Media reports, that's not saying it's confirmed or not, but media reports saying the pilot was only assigned to this plane not long ago. Now, I don't know whether that means that uh, maybe he was uh, not had the proper training on this or hasn't done that many hours on a plane like this, a 737, or maybe he just wasn't the pilot to be uh, flying it tonight. He may have come in at the last minute. Don't quite know what that means. But we are also hearing as well that this very very plane, again, this is going to be <laughs> verified as well. This very plane had crash landed previously at this very airport only a year ago. Now, the Russian media are reporting that. Now, this line that's come out now obviously puts a very different perspective on it because, okay, it could have crash landed and been perfectly healthy and uh, passed for clearance to fly again, or it could have sustained some damage, maybe. I'm just surmising. Um, it's not often that a plane crash lands and then it's allowed to fly again, or is it? Uh, well, no, it's not. It depends, of course, uh, of course, on what type of crash landing we're talking about, mm. whether the aircraft had come down heavy um, and uh, sustained some damage, but not serious damage, and uh, that was repaired, and the aircraft was eventually allowed back to skies. That is a possibility. We need to wait to see. Um, as you say, many of these reports coming out at the moment um, and all of this information has to be verified before we can mm. actually pin our hats on something and say this is the problem. Yeah. And uh, this, is the, uh, this, this is the issue that uh, the aviation industry in that part of the world is facing. While you're on the line...